Our Bible reading today takes us through Jeremiah 48, 49, and Psalm 67, and 1 John chapter 1. And it's from 1 John chapter 1 that I uh, want to share a couple of thoughts that stood out to me. Now, uh, a little longer reading, four verses. Uh, normally, we just read one or two verses and comment on them, but uh, this time, it's hard to separate all of this. There's so much to unpack from this this section of scripture, and certainly I'm not going to do that justice in the four or five minutes that I have, but I just want to read it and, and pray that it will speak to our hearts and share a few thoughts. That which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon and our hands have handled concerning the word of life, which life was manifested, which was with the Father and was manifested to us, that which we have seen and heard, we declare to you, that you also may have fellowship with us, and truly our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. And these things we write to you, that your joy may be full. As I said, there's way more uh, to unpack here than I can begin to imagine or that I could even get to in this short time that we have. But of course, uh, John is speaking here of the Lord Jesus Christ and that as that which was from the beginning. Well, beginning of what? Well, you could talk about the beginning of his ministry, their acquaintance with him, but probably John is referring to the fact that he was there at the beginning. Uh, God made the world, formed the world. In the beginning was the word of God, and the word was with God, the word was God. So that's that's probably what he's talking about. Before the beginning of creation. So when it all began, Jesus was there, and Paul Paul clearly affirms that in the book of Colossians when he says that all things were made by him. And what has happened with all of that since then? John says, well, now we have heard him. He is the living word of life. That life was manifested or demonstrated to him and to the other disciples. And they, in turn, were declaring that message wherever and whenever they could. And so it is the same message that has been declared to us because God is consistent, his word is consistent, his word is true. They saw the living Christ, they were uh, privy to that experience, but we have the Holy Spirit within us, and so he is with us as well. They declared it in order that people who they came in contact with would, would believe, but also it's laid out for us so that we can believe, and that's what the word of God is all about. So, um, and the result of that is, is that we have fellowship with one another and with the Lord. Without the Son, there is no fellowship. Without the Lord Jesus Christ, there's no fellowship because there is nothing to fellowship around. Now, people gather together today in all kinds of clubs and, and uh, special uh, groups, uh, a special interest group. And, uh, but fellowship, the very essence of the word, is impossible without the presence of the Lord. And that koinonia is the Greek word that we hear and, and talk about. It's that fellowship that we have with the Father and with the Son because of the special relationship that we have. What's that relationship? Well, there came a day when we recognized our need of a Savior. We realized that we were a part of the group that Paul mentions in Romans 3.23, that group that all has sinned, comes short of the glory of God. And when we recognized that and saw our need, we repented and, and received Christ as our Savior, asking God to forgive us, turning from our old life, and now entering into new life. And so now we have fellowship with the Father and with the Son, but we also have fellowship with one another. Uh, it's amazing uh, some of the things that we've experienced in our lives as a result of that fellowship. Love for one another, chief probably among them. That, that sense of belonging to one another and, and walking together in that fellowship. Uh, without Jesus' sacrificial death and his resurrection, none of that would be possible. He is the foundation. He is uh, <laughs> the glue, if you will, that holds it all together. He holds it all together, the scriptures, by the word of his power. So we have this wonderful fellowship, this wonderful life, this word of life, who, whom Jesus is. In the beginning was the word, the word was with God, the word was God. So praise the Lord for this fellowship that we have, this word of life that comes through the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm thankful for that today. And it's, a, and it's an occasion, it's an opportunity for us to give the Lord praise for what he has done through this. Praise the Lord. Amen. May the Lord richly bless you today. 
Uh, don't forget to like us, to subscribe to the YouTube channel, to uh, share it on your Facebook page. Again, as I've said before, every time we do that, it helps to get that word out. It raises this little devotional up on the list so that it appears more and people have opportunity to access it. So thanks for doing that. And drop a comment once in a while. Uh, I love it to read those comments from you. So thank you. Lord bless you today.